What is going on everybody? Mattitude22 here today bringing you guys another figure review. So today we're looking at the DC Collectibles Constantine figure from the Arrow TV series. So pretty cool figure right here. Taking a quick look at the packaging. It has the Arrow logo on the top. On the front of the box again, Arrow logo again. You see Constantine on the side right there with the number 13 telling us that he is the 13th figure in this line nice picture of the figure on the side can, can you see that Pretty cool. and on the back you can see some of the other figures available so pretty cool alrighty so with that being said let's take a quick look at the figure well we're gonna take a detailed look guys we're gonna take a detailed look but what I meant to say was I'm gonna quickly get this figure out of the package and we will take a closer look. Alright, so here we are with Constantine out of the packaging and he looks pretty cool, I gotta say. You see that? It's blurry. Alright, looks pretty cool, I gotta say. I, for the most part, I think the face sculpt is... I guess it's close enough to the actor, uh, but not quite there i don't know let me know what you guys think i see what they did like they did it looks like they did their best but just uh seems to be not quite there for me but overall the rest of the figure is pretty cool obviously the trench coat is a separate piece and i like that a lot i like the detail going on on the back a little bit of paint right there you know i always appreciate that you can see kind of where his pockets would be so yeah pretty nice and of course the white shirt and the red tie again the tie is a separate piece so uh, 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 there we go so not really any major paint rub or anything like that to any degree but uh you can see i think i just did that i don't know if you can see that but i just kind of lifted the tie and and kind of ripped it up and now there's a little bit of paint rub so you definitely want to be careful you guys at home don't do that because uh that's what will happen to your figure and you, we don't want that right nobody wants that a little bit of paint on the belt buckle not very much but pretty cool and the shoes are a nice glossy black so they look pretty nice same with the pants yeah, definitely uh a good figure not a great figure but definitely good nonetheless i would say so getting into his articulation the head moves side to side moves down gets a lot better motion down but not really not a lot up oh did i talk about his hair the hair really quick there's some nice black shading it's a it's kind of like a dirty blonde like a dark blonde and there's some black shading going on so pretty nice Pretty nice. I like the hair. All right. Sorry about that. Back into the articulation. So he does have a ball peg for the shoulder and it does rotate around and it moves about this far forward. So not too bad and moves a little bit back. And he does have a swivel in the elbow and of course it's a single jointed elbow. It's so not the best, not the greatest range of motion. I guess you don't really need I guess who really needs a super articulated John Constantine, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't really need him to be like, you know what I'm saying. So the hands do rotate and they do hinge back and forth. So pretty good. For the hips, they, they kind of move out, but the trench coat will definitely inhibit it a little bit, but you can get somewhat a range of motion oh i'm sorry guys uh, i'm tripping today he has a waist twist but it, it barely works so what can you do yeah so you won't get the best range of motion out of the hips and even kicking he kicks laughably forward that's how that's how far he kicks so that's pretty that's pretty laughable in my opinion but can you do it's got a single jointed knee and the feet the do hinge back and forth and he does kind of have ankle rockers but they don't work very well 
they don't work very well so you're not going to get the best range of motion out of that so um yeah not a lot not too too much to this figure looking at accessories he comes with a lot but they are pretty much all hands so he comes with these two fireball hands and they do look pretty cool the fireballs look pretty decent they're nice uh i don't know the color is hard to describe it's not quite like a very bright orange like a very like whitish orange and they are translucent so they do look pretty nice nonetheless and you get two of those you get this one hand for the right hand and it's got a key it's it's been a while since i've seen the episode of the show uh, that he was on so forgive me i don't quite remember the significance of that if it's a key or whatever it is but he does have the one key hand for the right hand and then he has these basically are, they look like they're more like uh, magic casting hands. They're basically like the fireball hands without the fireball. You get two of those. And you get two hands to basically hold accessories. Hold accessories that he does not come with. So I always kind of, I always have to laugh when figures give you hands that can hold accessories but they don't give you any actual accessories so it's like well what, what can i what can i do with this now you know what i'm saying so nonetheless you still do get uh four pairs of hands and the one key hand and of course it was the two fist hands that came on this figure and if you want to kind of pop those out what i like to do is kind of squeeze down uh, where the where the peg is and just kind of rotate you don't want to yank too hard because you don't want to break it and then they just pop out and then you can just carefully just twist that hand back in and there you go pretty cool i don't know if i'm going to give them two fireball hands that seems a bit excessive i think just the one will do so yeah all in all pretty cool figure i mean if you're a fan of the show then you're definitely, uh, if you're, well, if you're a fan of the show, Constantine, like, even if you don't really care for the show Arrow, ugh, is he gonna stand for me? Is he gonna stand? Come on. Come on. There. So if you're a fan of the Constantine TV show at all, uh, he's worth a pickup or if you like the arrow show and you're collecting the other figures uh, I mean even if you're I guess an overall Constantine we haven't really had a really good Constantine figure to any degree but this one out of the ones I own would probably I would say be the best but that's not that's not only because the other ones suck more than that so I, I could also see this guy say this guy's an easy pass but if you're a fan of the show Arrow when you're collecting the other figures, or if you like the Constantine TV show, then I say definitely go ahead and pick them up. I don't think we're gonna I don't think we're gonna get any other characters from that show. Not that there was any really memorable ones, but I'm thinking more of a I can't think of his name. Oh man, I can't think of his name, guys. He's a cab driver. He was played by a. Oh man. Oh man, guys, let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm trying to think of it, and it's on the tip of my head. And I know if I Google it, I'm going to be like, that's who the cab driver was. But let me know in the comments if you uh, if you know his name. Refresh my memory. But yeah, I could see us maybe getting him. But even so, like, with the packaging, he wasn't really built from, like, his Constantine TV show. He was more being built from, like, the Arrow TV show, like the one guest spot he did. So I think even that seems a bit of a stretch, but I don't know. It's still a pretty cool figure nonetheless, but uh, unless you're a fan of him in the in those shows, I see he's an easy pass. That's just me, though. All right, guys. So thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget, if you subscribe when you do, you leave me a comment. You tell me that you subscribe so I can go and return that subscription to you. Please like this video. Share it with a friend. Leave me a comment because I love hearing from you guys, man. I love all the stuff you guys have to tell me. I love all this. I love hearing from you guys. So definitely leave me a comment. And I will catch you guys next time with another figure review. 
So have a great day and bye.